Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. Come on, there is actually some rating, but it, it's it's fine. We'll we'll learn to live with I, it. I can stand. I can stand and read. You can? At the same time? Oh <laughs> <laughs> the I <Uter> Wilds. <laughs> I apologize if that offended anybody. Please take it up with our new social media manager, Jack. It's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> he encouraged us. Anyway, hey. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, we should start. Hello, everybody. We're here. It's the villains. Um, happy Pride Month. We're all queer. <laughs> Guess what? By the time you're watching this, it's my birthday. Yeah, everybody, everybody tell Tokyo happy birthday and then send them $36. Exactly. Which each. Every and it will go directly movie. to me so I can hand it to him personally, <laughs> gift wrapped, and will not instead go to Don't About Let's Levels. <laughs> okay, so uh, some of you might be wondering, another new game? What is this bullshit, guys? Fuck you, man. We can do what we want. We're grown-ass adults. You don't... You don't... I'm sorry. This is Outer Wilds. This no, is a wait, game. Wait, let, let, let me describe to them. <laughs> okay. So the reason we're playing this new game, Outer Wilds, is fuck you, we're adults. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've been uh, eagerly anticipating the release of this game for ever. Damn near 40 years. Uh, I actually streamed the original version of this game. The demo. Back in 2013. The open alpha? With our, our good buddy, Seth. Uh, good guy. Uh, yeah, streamed. It, it was, I, I guess you could call it an alpha. They they made, wow, this is gonna, all right, this is gonna be a rant. If you don't wanna, whatever, we'll we'll do like a. No, just do it. We're, we're just not gonna doing rant anything. It. Anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, they made this um, for college, I believe, for school, um, showcasing how like miniature solar systems work. It was like basically a physics engine gravity. Thing, um, I already went through this. Did you? <laughs> yes, I did. So you did. Do um, your thing. I'm doing this. And uh, it was super cool. It was very artistic, and, and it was just it was a good little game. Um, it got featured somewhere, and the dudes eventually were like, "All right, fine, we'll make a fucking game. We'll crowdsource so it." So I jumped right the fuck in uh, and tossed some twenty bucks, and here we are. Uh, minimal. <laughs> Six years later! <laughs> That's what we in the business like to call Kickstarter time. It's similar to Valve time, but it happens. Now, they had a, they had a <laughs> demo at E3 uh, that was a locked... It, like, they locked off a ton of areas of the original alpha that they had. Um, so a bunch of people were like, ooh, what's all this mystery stuff on here? And I knew, because I played the alpha. Uh, the alpha is... Probably still available out there sometime, but why would you get that when you could just get the game? When it's here, it's new and it's fresh, and there's trees. <laughs> Look at those trees. <laughs> we're loading. We're gonna play the video game. So now. we're gonna we're gonna start a new game. Something immediately is gonna happen here. We're gonna wake up. Um, Grab we're a brush wake up. and put a little makeup. You see there, something in the sky is exploding, and something else is flying off. Another thing is gonna happen here. You see that white shit? No idea what the fuck that is. That was a big mystery in the alpha. I'm hoping to figure out uh, everything that's going on. We're an alien. I can't tell you exactly what kind of alien. Is, is there is there ski? <laughs> there's there's roasting marshmallows. We can, we'll we extend can, the stick. Well, you gotta you gotta be this careful. This is the kind of burn. gameplay that everyone tuned in for. It, it'll burn. You don't want to burn it. Yes, you do. It's not good yet. Whoop! That's too close. Fuck! All right, whatever. I'm just gonna eat that shit. Wait, wait, wait. Look down at your feet. We'll look down on my feet. And rapidly press forward without actually moving. I was seeing if there was... No, no. there is no skiing. <laughs> anyway, this is a well-designed game. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars. I, see. I thought that said cramp it. So it's <laughs> launch day. Hey, it seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. 
You sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Fuck. The <laughs> fuck. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're an alien. We're one of those four-eyed motherfuckers. Uh, oh, yeah, I need the launch yeah. codes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Immediately ignoring your immediate mission. This is... Immediately. Uh, so what's what's funny about this? Oh, I gotta. That's right. I gotta like hold it. Um, this is kind of like a rural village that just has space travel. Yeah, is that not normal? Um, is not people in bumfuck Alabama just casually <laughs> calculating what it, the amount of rocket fuel it takes to get from Mars to Jupiter? Are we in the same universe? <laughs> just did that not happen to you? Um, Aren't you going gonna go into space? Aren't you, uh, whatever? Wow, that's wow. That was hard to read. So this is a little boy that wants to. Uh, he he wants to go into space like me. Well, we can and launch. He him. created a model ship. Let's practice. Um, I have not used this thing in a long time, so I'm gonna get a little little uh, little practice here. We're gonna try and land it in the geyser pool. Nice, look at that. Easy. If I remember correctly, you can actually accidentally um Oh no 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 Okay, it's dead. We've we've No it's it. fine. It look, it's works. fine. Um you can actually launch this thing into space and the guy gets kinda mad at you. I guess I'll I'll land over here. No no no, launch it into space. That's way better. And then I'll take it off. Fuck no! <laughs> launch it into space, goodbye! Wow, it's really going. Well, nobody can see you saluting. <laughs> it's not for them. And then you gotta give it some orbit. Wait, <laughs> this is actually happening. Oh yeah, it'll 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 be gone when you reset. It comes back. Um, <laughs> but this is not the interesting part of the game. We gotta get to space. No, that wasn't the interesting part of the game. There is uh, this game has like one of the most unique mechanics I've ever seen in a video game. I don't Porphy. know who this guy is. He's, He's new. Porphy. Hey, oh Hatchley. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gawson open up a bottle of good stuff, TM. The good stuff is less Let's... delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Dude, we're sass masters. We're full of sass and vinegar. Why vinegar? Yep. <laughs> Our hardy hunter-gatherer <laughs> lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. It's true. That's that's a necessary part. Wait, your ancestors survived? Um, In the rural south? <laughs> that's right. This projector is linked to our... Oh, look at that. Look at that cool stuff. So you get one of these later. You get a probe that will be able to take pictures... A probe, you say? <laughs> of stuff. <laughs> of stuff. <laughs> But you see that the, the probe's going, so it's flying over the village right now. Yeah. And I'm just taking live... Uh, live photos and saving every single one to our computer for upload later. <laughs> All right. Uh, the day-night cycle is really short here, and we Marl. are on a bit of a time limit, but it doesn't matter. You don't know that yet. Yeah. I know that, but they might have changed it, but you don't know that. But now you know that, because I told you that. So enjoy the paradox, kids. Sleep well tonight! That would have been a much better ending bit in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, man, reading's hard. You do it. Eh, whatever. I don't really care about any of these people. Wh why uh, not? Because, like... Gnees. Most of the most of the game has nothing to do... Oh, I guess I should learn about Traveler's Instruments. Yeah. So, there's like a... You can tell where planets are based on music that's coming from them, based on the instruments that the people who live there have. That's weird. That's very unique. So... Very weird. Yes. Um, yeah, signal scope and track them down. Um, I don't know how to use my signal scope. Don't oh, I thought we I crashed for a second. I was like, damn. No, we didn't. Already? I was just hitting buttons trying I was to say, find you just stuff. stopped so suddenly. Uh, these dudes have radios. I'm not even going to tag them. It doesn't Knock even Knock them off their porch. We will have plenty of time to come back here. Zero G cave. And figure out what the fuck is going on. Let's go to the zero G cave. Trust me. There's zero G's in there, dude. Well, yeah. I'm, dude, I'm making my way there. I'm, get, I'm getting there, man. What does G stand for? Is it like gold? There's no gold in there? 
<laughs> You're technically not wrong. <laughs> um, what is this little guy doing? Well, this is new. This is entirely new. So this I'm going to talk magician. to this guy. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gawson said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. It's just a, It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in this village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. Well, there will, there might be if you just jump into it right now. Uh, I, I'm just going to try not to walk into any in space. Okay, I guess ghosts are a part of this thing now. They kind of were before, but they're different. The ghost matter. <laughs> Look at that ghost matter. That's, that's, that's brand new. Is it expanding? Nobody cares. Anyway, let's yeah, find it would be really DK. unfortunate if it did actually save every photo to the computer. No, it doesn't. It only... Wait, did you just, did you just reveal what G stood for? Was it Gossin? No Gossin cave? <laughs> okay. You didn't deny it! Um, I'm a natural at this. Yeah, so, so go be a natural. Oh, he's missing an eye. He only has three eyes. In need of repairs, little zero G. Okay, one repaired satellite coming up. So this is gonna teach you. You can your ship can get damaged, and sometimes in space you have to go out and make repairs. You have uh, to go out. This is a zero G cave. The uh, way that gravity works in this game gravity. Is, is actually uh, very I don't know true. I want to say uh, to how it actually will operate. So. Um, like in real life and actually in space. So it's, it's very cool. Um, do I need to put on? Yep, I got a suit up. You got a suit. <laughs> and then I jump. And then you fly. So there is uh, some gravity here. But um, they said there was zero G in here. Why would there be gravity? It's, well, because <laughs> I'm not in. I'm not in. We're basically going to the planet's core right now. So there's going to be no gravitational pull in Gravitational. Any it's a zero-G cave! 